Greetings. Well, so we have ourselves a, a blower, right? And uh, I got this because I wanted to kind of like, when I uh, go to skateboard or rollerblade certain places, even work out outside, uh, do calisthenics, I've noticed that uh, I needed to clean the, uh, the ground a little bit, you know, from debris. And uh, <clears throat> this uh, popped up online, and I was like, okay, let me get it. I've had it for three years. Never really got around to fixing it, but I want to try to do it now. It's a Troy built two cycle engine, and uh, don't know much about these blowers. I, um, yeah, that's the model number right there. TB2MB. It's got that jump start technology, which is like a weird five and a half. Nah, it's like somewhere in between five and a half, five and a half millimeter. Or five and a half. Or five and. Yeah, it might be a five and a half millimeter um, hex socket. So. Uh, we got a carburetor here. It's got no fuel in it, which is great. Not really sure why they uh, got rid of it, but uh, we'll find out, right? It looks like it's pretty good condition. It's got some damage here on the, uh, I don't really know what happened. It's like kind of cracked. I don't know. You know as much as I do. Let's try to figure this out and see if we can get it to run. So <clears throat> I wanted to just go over some things. Like this is a, on and off switch, right? I just want to check and see if we have spark. So, it's safe to assume the spark plugs here. Well, there it is. Yes, it's there. And whenever they do it like this, it's, it's always when I say they, the manufacturer designers, engineers, make it so tight it's hard to can strip that nut strip, you can pull that cord off really easily and damage the, uh, <clears throat> the actual uh, little hook that goes into the spark plug. Let's check and see if we have spark. And this is always in the on position, it's a typical Ryobi design. So this will kill the spark, sorry. This will this knob here, this is what they use to kill the spark. It's always in the on position. You go like that to turn it off. So I'll watch right there. spark. That's good. So we need to check and see if we have... I don't know if the spark is of good quality, but we do have spark. We need to see if we can uh, get this... check the actual spark plug itself. This is a 5 8 socket. Spark plug is pretty... wow, it's got a lot of liquid on it, it's not good. Well, I'm going to have to probably rip all this part. Yes, we will, just to do a proper repair on this. So enjoy it for what it is. Um, let's see if this uh, spark plug is functional. Might not be able to see. Also, I'll have to. You'll have to trust me. 
breakfast is a very important thing around here. is difficult to work with. Yep, we got sport. Now watch right there, if you can. If I can avoid moving it, but I can't, so it's a little hard. Whoa, stay still. spark. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to pull this apart. So spark plug seven, nine, four, zero, 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 five, five, a. Okay. Um, so all the typical stuff we're going to do. We should check and see if it actually will run, right? This uses 50 to 1 fuel. Yeah, let's get some fuel in there. Can't wait for them to crash that car. They're like terrorists, you know what I mean? Drive around, it's like, dude, how small is your cock? Right, so we had some, uh, some uh, fuel here. Try to sneak that in. Really do need a better delivery system. Stuff in there. I don't know if it's enough. There's stuff in there. Some of you will notice that that's a 40 to 1 bottle. Uh, that's true. We're just testing it, that's all. This works. Can okay, choke? Is there a choke? Yes, there's a choke. Choke is uh, whatever. Let's see what happens. Uh, holding a throttle open a little bit. Let's go the other way. in a protective case. Uh, no crack screen, we're good. Hmm. Why not? Let's start.
looks definitely wet. flood the engine. issue here. Popping, there's no smoke coming out of here. Um, anyhow. try a couple things a little differently. Um, took a spark plug, it was kind of wet, it's gonna wipe it off. Now we're gonna just want to blow out inside of there because we kind of flooded it, I believe. Look at your glasses. Double check and see if this thing still has spark. Yeah. Let's see if I can see any spark. Oh yeah, I got lots of spark. Alright, we're gonna try 50 to 1. 
really going to do 50. Okay, let's see. That's where I made a mistake. Outside here. All right, let's see if this works. Uh, it's not one to start. There you go. To get this a little bit more manageable to work with, we're gonna have to take this front off. It's a little, it's a little difficult. These are T25s, and uh, it's gonna go around. We want to get this part away from here, so here. Hmm. Now we're going to have to pop this out. Let's see if we can get this off without having to lock the engine up. This is uh, attached to the engine, so. This is a 14. Make sure it's righty tighty lefty loosey so I'm gonna go the other way. Because I'm not really sure. You know? Uh, I can figure this out. So if I pull on this, right? Turns that way. So if it turns that way, it's gonna be tightening it. Hmm. What if this is a reverse thread? 
that turns that way, right? It's going to keep tightening. So Lefty Lucy would just make it spin out. It might go reverse thread on this one. No, it's Lefty Lucy. Okay. And it had a whole lot of Loctite on it. That's that's what it was. Oops, sorry. Yeah. You can't see it, sorry. Loctite, yeah, there you go. And two washers. So this should kind of come off. Does okay. Okay, so that's that. And then we have to get all those off to get this off. Shorter 225s. Same size as the others. The first set that came out, I'm sorry. Seen better days, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay. This one can leave out. And then we have the engine seems to slide into this here holds. Does that come off? Screw that. This has to slide off that right there. I gotta think about it first. Let's make it a lock this engine up. And uh, to do that, we're going to use the uh, rope method to take out the uh, spark plug. Take some rope. So you kind of want to figure out what position the engine is and if it's in the down or the up. So I pull in a pull cord. Now it's coming back up. So slide this in. You just want to fill up the the space in the top of the jug cylinder head. So that way create a rope lock I guess. Then you can have a hydro lock, fuel lock. Something's in the top of this, causing it to not be able to compress. That's basically what that means. So hydro lock would be water, fuel lock. Even though I think the in, in the industry, like uh, you, you hear a lot of hydro lock, and they use that to refer to uh, liquid, liquids. So it could be anything that enters into the category of a liquid, you know. So, if you hear that term, that's what they're talking about. All right, so, pack that in.
should do it. Now, we're gonna, this is a 19 millimeter. That's about as useful as that's going to be. Um, I don't want to damage the engine with the uh, impact, and so I'm going to do this by hand. Let's see if we can uh, see if this is size matters around here, as they say. It also could be right threaded, but I don't know. Nope, it's a lefty Lucy. It's lock, lock tight, uh, thread locked onto there. No. So that's that. So this screws onto the shaft here, and then the uh, this holds the uh, fan blades for the uh, blower. So it looks like that. Okay, so now we can pop all those fives off. I'm doing this just so I can get the engine isolated. Okay, these have washers on them. They look very different. There's four of them. If you're wondering why we're disassembling it this far, I need to figure out why we don't have the ability to spark. Don't think it's a compression thing, but it could be. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Let's put that back on. It's gonna mark it out. Just to let me know. Like that came from there. Just in case there's anything specific about it that I see. So this has a bearing in here. It's good to know. Okay. And I need to get this engine out of here, right? I want to go a little deeper. Um, you know, again, it doesn't really make sense. I uh, what I didn't do, I didn't show you off camera. Is I pulled off the air filter here and I sprayed uh, starting fluid in here after I cleaned out the uh, sprayed out the uh, fuel, wiped off the wet spark plug just to make sure I didn't flood the engine and try to start it again. And that didn't work. So I wonder if there's just literally like a big gaping hole on this, you know, scratch mark, gouge mark on the uh, cylinder. So I can't really see into there really well. That's the problem with these designs, you have to pull apart so much to get to see stuff. So the handle here is attached, all this is attached to the carburetor and the kill switch. It grounds out back there. So I think what we can do, right, this back part once you pull that part, we should be able to slide this front and back off. That'll leave this still attached to here. Um, I don't know if I should just take the carburetor off now. Yeah, why not? Doesn't seem to matter. That was a, you know, let's just do that. So That's that with the air filter. Those are T25, so let's... So. They're going to be like super long. Like that. So two of those. Just going to have a stack. Right. And uh, at the bottom here, we have the green fuel line, which is going to be the return, most likely. This is original. 
closest to the uh, machine and the black is going to be the fuel in. This is a cool carburetor because it has a high and low adjuster so you can really like fine tune it. We have a little like, gasket here and disconnect the throttle cable linkage here. Um, there should be a black Okay, well, this is just a gasket gun, the gasket on this side. That's that. That was like this. Okay. Um, well, let's just leave it for now. Leave it hanging, I guess. Uh, let's pop the. Let's just sit in that groove. Get that out of there. I'm gonna loosen this up. This has a nut on the back side right here. I'm gonna pop the handle off from. I'm doing it from this side and this side only because. By the way, I have my finger on the other side here. Okay, that's totally a, uh, okay, it looks like this also. This is a, um, a lock nut. Doesn't look like it wants to come out, and that's okay with me. Let's see, if this is the same size now, it's different. Yeah, I thought it was, this is the one we just took off with a handle. That's the one that holds the carburetor stack together. I was thinking maybe we can just get it, get that out. Loosen this one up. I was thinking we can just kind of pivot it. Or not. Don't know what's going on here. It should. Let's see. Take both of them out. Make sure let's get this carburetor out of there. Uh, let's mark it also. So we know the white goes to this green like that. Damage in that fuel line. Yeah. yeah. Either way, it's got to come off. Sometimes these things really fail you. Green, it's right there. That side is green. Okay. Okay. So the thing is, you want to get this handle <laughs> situation figured out before you loosen that up because then you'll just be fighting it with this floppy thing, you know? Um, 
maybe. Maybe not. No, not really. Okay, so I gotcha. Well, yes, because we still gotta... Ah, it's killing me here. This uh, linkage here has its market. push down and push down on both sides. Just kind of like work it back and forth. Right. There you go. So it's just a tab. You're going to push down on both sides like that. Everything tells me not to do this and get that solved first. Let me think about it. So we got some seriously bad news. So I shined this beautiful light down inside of there, right? And I can see nothing but carnage on the cylinder wall. It's just gouged out. I'll uh, pull it apart some more so you can see it. That's the reason why it's not starting. So and it will never start. Yeah, let's there's some mystery god like creature being that's willing to help me out right now but I don't believe in god and I definitely am too much of a monoist to believe in my skills so that being said let's skillfully pull this apart let's see if we can uh... look at this has a washer on Interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got a kind of like a, a washer and a uh, language, language, language. You know, spring washer, lock washer. Just see so if we can get a better view. I want you, I want you to see what I see. But I figured it was going to be severe only because, like I said, it's like, it's not particularly, it's got a good spark, you know, compression's okay, it wasn't great, that should have been my hint, you know, it's kind of gimpy, but whatever. This one. Not too much fuss? No. Okay. Doesn't matter. We're going in. Hey, you know what I saw the other day? I saw this anime called um, uh, Punk? Cyberpunk? Yeah, Cyberpunk. And, and uh, boy, that was a pretty good little like first season an anime there. They did a good job on that one. Um, highly recommend it if you are an anime fan. It's a short format, so it's like 10, ep 10 episodes. And it has about, and they are about like 23 minutes, 22 minutes. 22, 23 minutes in length. So we have a combination of uh, into metal and into plastic. Oh, one more. Oh, 
But it was pretty good. Good storytelling. You know, there's no s hero saved the day. I'm sorry, there's no, like, the hero uh, survives, you know, that kind of stuff. They're like, they, they, got, they got in there. Game of Thrones style. Let's kill off the, uh, kill off the uh, hero. Interesting, I said Game of Thrones style. Not like if they invented the idea of killing off the hero, you know, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can pop this off down here, too. Well, either way, Cyberpunk. Check it out. Highly recommend it. Going into, say, plastic. Holding it, hamming me up. I wonder how do you cause this engine to fail? I mean, unless you're not running the proper fuel and oil mixture, I mean, it just kind of lubricates itself. Things are like not really that old. Shall I say it doesn't look like it's been used much? You know what I mean? So it's like weird that the engine got so so damaged. I actually think, because I think it clamps down so well, I think I need to actually split this. Yeah, everything tells me it has to be split. Yes, yes, yes. You have to split the key case here. See, and that's what's that's what's holding me up. Can really pull it off. Uh, this I don't want to mess with because that's a pain in the butt. Start. Check. In front of the engine here. All right, you ready? <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get you the money shot. It's gonna be a little difficult, so bear with this. You can see if I can get you an optimal angle. That's more like it. Kind of see the carnage. There you go. See the cylinder wall all the way in the back? It's got a lot of a lot of damage scoring on it. Big gaps.
Now let's pop this off. The exhaust. These are T27s, or you can use like a, probably looks like a 10 millimeter or eight. I don't know. Yummy. Well, it's got a washer. Come on, what you got? Bump the power up a little. Let's just see what the piston looks like. Yeah, even the piston has damage on it. Right, so let's try to show you the top of the, the piston here. See that? Right there. Okay, so the gouge. Yeah, there you go. See how gouged out that is? And that's the exhaust side out. We saw from the intake. So the wall, it got really warm, warm, hot. Well, that's all subjective, isn't it? Well, it got hot on this side of the cylinder, the jug, wall, and then it gouged up the wall got gouged up along with the piston so this needs a new top end and it needs a new piston well, we can price it out and see what 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 the cost is and see if it's worth it or not but that's what's wrong with this and uh, if it's worth it there'll uh, there'll be a continuation of this video okay so again we got to get a new top end a new a new piston